just, it seems so scary when he pushes in, they can make these consistent swaps with the tricks of the trade. Z5 getting lower and lower, stun on Looney, and they ultimately take him down with a huge Earthshock crit. And that's what I uptime on Chaz, though. He's forced into the paint suppression, no defensive left. Looney in a lot of trouble, though, caught into the stun. Do they have to do? Looks like he just was interrupted. They try to fear ratify. Ratify, Trick and Stark, Archangel swaps to Rat Chaz. Tons of damage to the Miracle Swap. No one's here for the link. No one was there. Taking the brunt of the damage from Zipai, but the fear breaks of the damage. Relza is staying aggressive. There's no defensive line for Zipai. The next stun and trap could close this game out. Yet Looney Gates away, very far away from Zipai. He wants to delay this trap. There's the full maim. Flapper's looking to reconnect to Zipai, but look, he's nowhere to be found. Dizio gets gripped over by Relza. Nice teamwork, but they just don't have any damage on the Zipai. Zipai did such a phenomenal job, and Walrix backed him up, completely denying the reconnect. Great positioning from Zipai and Looney. That should have been his death, but he took zero damage, immaculate defense from Zipai. Dizio now forced into the aspect of the turtle. Relza is running out of steam. He's almost out of mana. Flappers is below half. They've got another trap to rotate, but I don't think we're going to make it to that point. Relza caught into a cap totem. His entire team down at 20% with no defensive cooldowns to pick them back up and absolutely no momentum. Mortal Quill now onto Relza. Dizio is in midfield and Zipai is tearing in with tons of lightning. Bursting shot, but that's not enough. Dizio will fall. The aggression has been thwarted in XRB to the moon, take game number Walrus HP, but now he's setting up for a swap onto Relza, trying to punish the stack, but there's so much damage. Walrus is falling so far behind, and I think the Warlock is a way better target. Reformed have so much more pressure this game. Yeah, very similar opener. Looney's used everything. Walrus used everything. Walrus still 50%. Is he going to be able to get away? The only reason they lived in the last game is Looney was able to create some space, delay that trap, delay that fear. If they land the CC, which they just have, Walrus could be in some big trouble. Flapper's at 50% as well. Relza has to keep his team aggressive. First thing shot into trap on Looney. Walrick needs to be able to survive, but he's just at full HP, just hiding away. Finally, some damage sinking in. Death Coils coming in from Walrick into the spam fear. Very nicely done. This is the best map for Reformed. If they don't win here, it's basically curtains. They've got a couple more seconds to kill Walrick. There's no defensive cooldowns. They're out of mana. They have to kill him now. He's on 30%. Looney gets stunned, but no trigger. It looks like they're going to be able to do it. Walrick has nothing. He's ducking behind the corner, hanging on by a thread. Looney doing whatever he can, but caught to a psychic screen. Relz has burned all his mana. He's on 10%. They can Flappers is on 10% with no mana left. Warwick's is hanging on by the skin of his teeth. He did it! He stayed alive on the final seconds. They win on their worst. Forced the damage, forced the paint suppress himself. Forced to use the powered barrier. Huge damage coming in from Zipai. All right, Fell Lord dropped. Dizio looking for a Wyvern Sing, though. Unending resolve is over. Relza needs to just recover. Walrix is on the run. Line of sighting Dizio. He's actually going to counter pressure, moving back in line of sight of the Hunter, trying to build up some pressure. That could be an aggressive mistake. Looney trinkets the bash. He can Iron Bark here. He's holding onto it, but this is a greedy play. He could get Psychic Screams and not be able to use it. Walrix is dipping dangerously low. Looney's trying to be as greedy as possible, but the Psychic Scream is impending. Is he going to get it? He tops off Walrix right before it. Now Relza has to trinket the bear. He's moving in. Looney looks for a clone. He closed up Flappers with no trinket. It on the Psychic Scream. Nice Cyclone from Looney. That's going to put Reform so far behind. Yep, Rels is still into the fear. They're not out of this yet. Capstun comes in from Z5. Flappers getting swapped to Big damage coming in from XRB to the moon. Flappers almost goes down. Ultimately, is going to survive. Looney still has that Iron Bark available. Wallach still has the gateway as well, but Flappers is taking so much damage. Now, full bash over on the Dizio. No trinket available. Stormkeeper. Storm Stormkeeper will close out the series, and XRB to the moon will be heading to the Summer Finals. Sid gave yeah, them we normally see this Chaz and Swapsy, they kind of stick together, just put out as much pressure as possible with the Discipline Freeze, with the Elemental Shaman on any target they can. Meanwhile, Waz can sign to sit in midfield, do a lot of setups with the gouges, with the between the eye stuns, with the blind, and then eventually they find those windows of opportunity where they can sort of push N all in. But Waz is going to be empowering Swapsy's damage so much with that Tricks of the Trade buff. I really think Zipai chasing Swapsy could maybe be a mistake at the end of this game. He's spending so much time just walking to a target instead of actually hitting it. The Priest is not going to move very fast, so I, I feel like a target swap would be good. But now he's overextended and got caught by Waz. Immediate punish with the double stun. Tons of damage. Defensive fears to try and hold the Divine Shield, but it's not enough. Zipai overextending. Waz immediately capitalized on that mistake, and they're going to bank a major defensive cooldown as a result.
Yeah, that was the plunder armor used by Waz there to get the bubble from Zipai. So not the worst trade, but the problem with the Retribution Paladin is he is a very susceptible target here for Swapsy Waz and Chaz. So uh, although it might be good defensively, uh, it just it seems so scary when he pushes in. They can make these consistent swaps with the tricks of the trade. Zipai getting lower and lower, stun on Looney, and they ultimately take him down with a huge Earthshock crit. They would have to pick up three new classes and learn a setup-based comp. It's too tall of a mountain to climb. So. Well, let's see if the Windwalker DK is going to be enough to climb that mountain, enough to tie up the series, or if Method Black will find themselves on match point. I just want three smork icons to appear over the frames on the right side of the screen. If they don't run it, Chaz, I feel like that's the biggest mistake they could make. Yeah, Waz uh, looking for an opener here. You can see Zipai slowly moving in. Swaps is going to try to delay that opener as much as possible. Blizzo into the cheap shot. Paralysis on Waz as they run in onto Chaz. You need to see the offensive purchase coming in from Looney if they want to get this damage in. Fist of Fear is done on Chaz. He's not responding with anything just yet. There's the Archangel. There's the Rapture. But it looks like that's enough to keep him alive. Looney not triggering out of the blind. He doesn't see Plunder used. He doesn't want to get swapped to. But Zipai had to burn a lot of cooldowns to stall this non-trinket on blind out. Now Waz is trying to just capitalize on that. Maybe even look for a swap at the end of that crowd control and put Looney even more behind. I don't think Looney can afford to sit all this crowd control. They need the purges and he's just going to die? There's just so much damage. Getting the purges rolling. Looney's going to jump in. Finally, some aggression. Yeah, the thing is, Chaz didn't have to use his Rapture in that opener. So he didn't use his Trinket in the opener. He didn't use his Rapture in the opener. And now, because Looney sat the blind once again, Chaz is going to be completely fine. And it seems like XRV to the moon is just way behind on this healer race. And Waz still has Plunder. He can make a swap at any second to Looney or just kill Zipai. They've overcommitted defensives, but I think in the incorrect order. And it seems like aggressively they're falling more behind. There's the swap. There's the double fear. Looney could easily disappear, but a paralysis on Waz denies the follow up. He can switch Earthshield and get Astral Shift up. Looney survives the swap. Now they've got to start pushing down on the gas pedal. Looney needs to start getting aggressive on Chaz. They've got him in the middle of the map. They can purge him. Looney's right there, just waiting. Trying to get through the interrupts, gets gouged as well. Stormkeeper, now they swap over to Zipa. He's locked down in a stun, not able to use the anti-magic shield. They managed to finally get Chaz's second trinket. There's a big opening to kill Chaz. Looney's team just needs to keep this going. I'd love to see a preemptive spirit link moving just a little bit forward into this match. Yeah, Zipa and Blizzo finally having a lot of uptime on Chaz, though. He's forced into the paint suppression. No defensive left. Looney in a lot of trouble, though. Caught into the stun. Do they have the damage to take him down? Damage, yes. though, resulting of this. Raikou just kiting. There's no stun lock. He seems to be just perfectly fine. Ratapai getting caught into a cap totem from Chaz. Nice position in prison on the trinket during Rapture. They could possibly try to purge this out, but Chaz gets polyed. Raikou could be in trouble. Let's see how he deals with this incoming attack. Acro not stun locking him just yet. He must have pre-blurred and dodged it. Myro now in trouble, forced into his second ice block, and this is looking like a very one-sided match for Method Black. Yeah, Senden hasn't been able to find any momentum in this matchup. Swapsy just shutting down everything they do. Fierce coming up from Swapsy. You can see a good positioning as well. Chaz making sure he's very safe. Raikou just basically free to do whatever he wants. Train down Maro, put out a ton of pressure, tax ratifies mana. He actually, look, Chaz is a little bit behind on mana. A little swap there over to Chaz. He actually uses the Astral Shift, so that's a key cooldown that Ascendant was able to force out. All right, imprisoned into a Succubus play here. Temp Shield gets purged off. Unfortunately, Succubus was interrupted. They try to fear Ratify. Ratify, Trinket, Stark, Archangel, swap to Rat, Chaz. Tons of damage to the Miracle Swap. No one's here for the link. No one was there. I'm not sure if the orb is hitting him. It must be hitting him, but now it's not. Obviously, Chaz will survive this with Astral Shift. That was the Icy Bane's attempt. So now Chaz has survived the, what he died to in the first game. So the threat is now out of the way for quite some time. Method Black now can have free reign. Yeah, unfortunately for Morrow, was not able to get too much damage off in that setup. That was his Icy Veins. That was his orb. Uh, looking for an Evan Bolt now, but he gets interrupted. Nicely done there uh, by Swapsy, just trying to peel. And basically what's going on in this game is Chaz is just trying to create as much space from Morrow as possible, making it really hard for him to actually land any sort of significant damage. Now Chaz still just camping on that gateway. It's going to be available for him at any moment. Besides the gate away, Raikou sitting on Morrow, keeping him snared, keeping him dotted. Swapsy keeping him dotted as well. It makes it very difficult for Ratapai and Morrow to get off the damage they need. Acro kind of has to overextend himself in this situation as well, and now Raikou can kind of punish that. Yeah, Ratify's doing a decent job with his mana, keeping his team going if they can survive to that nice next Icy Veins in a minute and 50. Pressure is on, though, as Raikou's targeting down Maro. Temp Shield is over. Doesn't really even do very much. That's going to be an Ice Block, thanks to the great fears from Swapsy on Ratify. Also got Ratify's Trinket. That's a bit of an overlap. I don't think the Trinket was necessary by Ratify. They go for the Miracle Swap again. Dark Archangel, Frozen Orb, but no Icy Veins this time around. Spam Fear, Defense. Should be enough. It's not. It chokes. To the moon. Are our underdogs. I think if you vote with your brain, you're voting for XRB, but if you vote 
vote with your heart. You're voting for Windwalker DK. Let's see if they can just run down Looney. As I can imagine, that's probably the only winning strategy for them against such an experienced team. It looks like they're starting out on Zipai, trying to force some pressure towards him, for some defensive, getting him down to 80%, and they're really waiting for their strategy. I'm curious to see if they're gonna crowd control Looney. Fist of Fury already used on Zipai, so it's not likely that we see a swap to Looney anytime soon. Yeah, Bali is actually going with the Serenity strategy once again. Ah! He gets caught into a Stormbolt, and.